So I'm just uh, working on a little side project here because I actually want to try a really simple mod that I read about. Um, I don't really know what my opinion is on, on mods for the uh, Genesis currently, but this is such a simple one and it's so un unobtrusive, I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. Um, we just have a uh, toggle switch. It's um, like an on-on switch, so this direction these are connected and this direction those are connected. Uh, we're just going to wire that right up to here on the board. Um, <clears throat> these jumpers are just, uh, they're bridged by a little lead here. There's one here on jumper 2 and there's one here on jumper 4. And I've just broken the one on jumper 2 by um, just, just kind of scratching it out there on the middle. Uh, I tested that with my meter and I confirmed that that is uh, cut. So we're going to uh, just hook this up and we'll see how it works. Alrighty, so, um, so there's our switch. So uh, this direction, we're going to be hitting the um, the top jumper there, connecting that up. Um, this is going to kind of a common uh, ground on the other side. And then when we flip it this way, it's going to be going to the uh, other one. So I guess that's going to be Japanese uh, that direction and uh, U.S. that direction. Let's see if that works. So um, this should be the uh, Japanese direction, I believe. So uh, let's see what we get. Okay, so uh, from what I've read, this is one of the games where it makes a difference, and it's supposed to say, um, like, uh, miles instead of tails. And uh, there we go, you can see right there, Miles and Sonic. Now uh, let's try switching that back. Come down here, flick the switch. And uh, look at that, it says Tails. So, um, yay, that's the, the big difference that this mod makes here. Okay, so um, just a quick follow-up, I wanted to give you guys a closer look at where I installed that uh, switch. Uh, I put it just above the expansion port on this Model 1 Genesis. Um, I, uh, you know, dr drilling that hole um, had to be just a little bit careful, there's not a whole lot of room in there. But um, it just seemed like the best place for it. Uh, this way I can just unscrew this part here and uh, pull the switch back through and then I can take the motherboard out. Um, so I, I thought that was pretty easy. And uh, yeah, you know, I've never done a mod like this before. I've never really modded a console myself. Um, I used some shrink tubing on this here. I've never really used that either. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. But the size that, that would fit over here well didn't... Um, didn't make a tight uh, fit around this when it shrunk, so I put just a little bit of electrical tape on the end there, hopefully to keep that from moving around. I don't really see why it would, but um, just to be sure. And I uh, taped in the middle there just to kind of help keep those wires together. I figured I'd give this mod a try. Um, the uh, From what I've read, there's about 62 games that have some sort of region coding uh, on them. Um, so, you know, with this switch, I would be able to play any of those games, like Japanese games, on the uh, U.S. Uh, uh, Sega Genesis. Um, the uh, the games, I guess, most of the Japanese games would work on the system, aside from the fact that there's a physical uh, difference in the way that the cartridges uh, fit into the cartridge slot. Now, you can get around that with things like getting a Game Genie that sticks out of the cartridge slot, and you could just plug that right onto the top of that. And I guess there are some other mods that you can do. Um, you could do like a composite uh, S-Video mod. You could do um, you know, overclocking of the processor. And there's even some sort of fancy audio mod that you can do to make the audio better. So, um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to attempt anything like that. I just figured this was so easy while I had this open, I'd give it a whirl and uh, let you guys know how it turned out.